So, it's been a while since I've done one of these, but I'm excited to jump back in, especially with the movie we are about to watch. G'day everyone, hope you're all doing well. My name is Patrick, and today I'm going to be watching Renfield, the newest movie featuring Nicholas Holt and Nick Cage, where Nick Cage plays fucking Dracula. This is an insane casting choice that I never thought I needed, but is something I want. Sorry, the other way around. Is never something I knew I wanted, but is something I now need. Or something along those lines. I don't remember how the saying goes. Nicolas Cage is one of the most insane fucking actors I have ever witnessed. He's an Academy Award winner, but I love him in batshit crazy roles like Ghost Rider, like The Rock, like Con Air, Face Off, Willy's Wonderland, Vampires, Kiss, you name it. Nicolas Cage is one of the most insane but iconic actors I have ever had the pleasure of seeing. And now he's here to give us a performance as fucking Dracula himself. Now, this movie came out over a month ago in the United States, but me being in Australia, it actually came out today, believe it or not, in Australia. May 25th, I'm recording this. And it's only just come out, and I'm like, you know, there's no real point in me fucking reviewing it, considering that it's been out for that long, and I was on hiatus and everything, and it's out on digital, everywhere except Australia right now anyway. So, me being me, I linked up my VPN, I did a fucking rental, and I decided, hey, let's watch fucking Renfield as my first reaction back. Now, after my hiatus, I decided a few things. One, reactions will return, but they will be movies that I want to watch. I'll take a few recommendations and fucked up Gorno torture porn movies like I had been watching here and there, yes, but they'll mainly be movies I want to watch, and they won't only be dedicated to horror because I feel like I need some variety in regards to the movies I watch. For one, even though I have seen it, I do plan on reacting to the Super Mario Brothers movie because I really enjoyed that movie. I thought it was a lot of fun. As a Mario fan, it was everything I could have wanted, even though it is a little bit of a nostalgia fest. I had fun with it. It's a turn your brain off fun family movie. I do plan on doing a reaction to Evil Dead Rise with my sister. Evil Dead Rise I fucking loved, by the way. I really, really love that movie. I think I saw it like three times in theaters. And yeah, I, I will be doing more reactions, but they'll mainly be movies I want to watch or movies I want my sister to watch. I will take a few recommendations here and there, but I want some variety. I want some diversity and in regards to like different genres and everything, and they'll mainly be things I want to watch so I don't burn myself out again. And with that as well, the editing time of these videos will be cut down exponentially. Therefore, the videos themselves will be nowhere near as long as they used to be. My videos to these used to be around about fucking 30 to 45 minutes, if not longer. I want these to be no longer than roughly about 15 to 20 minutes going forward, so therefore I don't suffer burnout again, and they will also only be made in my own time. It's basically, when I get them done is when I get them done, and that's that. I don't want it to be me fucking bibbly-babbly sort of going to a schedule because I work six days a week in my own personal life, and that makes it very stressful while trying to also bring back movie reviews, while trying to do extra content and everything in regards to more streaming. I want to be able to do more videos that are dedicated to retrospectives or more or less revisiting old movies that I loved that in my opinion may have changed. For one, I will be re-watching Spiral from the Book of Saw in a couple of days so I can do a Spiral from the Book of Saw two years later video leading up to the release of Saw 10. So that's basically how it's going to work on my channel going forward. That's why I may not have uploaded for a couple of days. That's why there's no no rush for me to get out content. I just want to have fun on my own time once again. But enough of that. I just thought I'd fill you all in. Thank you all so much for tuning in once again. Let me know what you thought of Renfield down in the comment section below. And without further ado, let's jump in and let's watch Renfield. Hello, my name is Robert Montague Renfield. And just like all these decent folks, I'm in a destructive relationship. Oh, yes, you. Oh. Whoa, 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 that was a lot. <laughs> what? Immediately, it's just insane Nicolas Cage with insane fucking facial expressions. I am here. But just like all great times, Seven. they come to an end. The hunters have returned. Ah, uh, yes, the bugs. This comes up a lot. Ah, ah, yuck. No, fuck. Oh, fuck. Why did it have to be a spider? No! He just ripped out his fucking trachea! Uh oh. 
No, how dare you stop the cage? You shan't do this. That's not fair. We are the last of our kind. From now on, every drop of blood Dracula spills will be on your hands. Whoa! Fuck! I was not expecting that. Neither was I! Holy fucking shit! Oh. Oh, that. So we're watching Ghost Rider now, are we? You know what? The first one's okay. I have fun with it. Master, you okay? No. <laughs> okay, he got burnt to fucking cinders. Maybe it's not Ghost Rider. Oh yes, I'm getting something out of coming here. Victims. Oh? So you came here to kill people and feed Dracula, I see. Well, that's slightly manipulative on your part. How dare you, by the way? These people are suffering. This is exactly why you never set your picnic up next to a pile of dog shit. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Hello, Mitch. <laughs> Mitch the bitch. Oh! The song choice is interesting. Say about a hitman sent to kill you? Oh! Oh, Jesus Christ! A friend of Caitlin's. Oh, more of an acquaintance. Damn, he's got fucking moves. He's a straight up fucking ninja. Oh! He's a strong boy. <laughs> Uh, you might want to put your intestines back where they belong, Renfield. Oh, holy shit! Oh, shit! Yeah, me too! I agree, Schwartz. That is a very, very proper fucking reaction. Shit! What did I fucking do? This is how you drugs at us? Yes! I didn't do anything wrong! Fuck! Okay! You can't fucking catch! Are you fucking serious? I didn't talk throughout most of that fucking scene by him throwing the cocaine and having the fucking baton thrown at the back of his head is hilarious. Oh. Evidence, they found the Mulates pen, and of course, fucking Renfield is currently there and they're gonna find him there, yeah. Not a good look. Not a good look at all. Abort. Yeah. Not a good look at all, Renfield. You better run out of there because the cops will find you with fucking chloroform. Oh. Who the fuck are these guys? Renfield is in quite the sticky situation right now. He's gonna have a lot of fun though. Just eat your bug first, please. Move and I'll blow your fucking head off. Oh, Aquafina needs to do something, or Renfield needs to do something so Aquafina doesn't die. Come on, tough guy. Shoot me. You think this is a fucking game? I will shoot you in your fucking face. Yeah, dare you. You hear that, Renfield? Bug! No, oh, it had to be a spider. Yuck. Why are you the spider? You're better than your father. Whoa! He came out of fucking nowhere. Oh! Holy fucking shit! Yeah, okay, I am loving the violence in this. This is my type of movie. Oh! Yeah! That's cool! Did he just use a fucking platter to cut off someone's fucking arms? Jesus, you don't just see that often. Holy shit. Oh my god. What the f- That deserved a fuck- That deserved? That deserved a fucking Wilhelm scream right there, just a fucking- Did I watch you cut a guy's arms off with a decorative serving platter? <laughs> yes. Yes, you fucking did. And it was fucking- Exactly. It was fucking awesome. Thank you, Aquafina. Also, he's in love. He's in love. Maybe she can- What are you doing? Get here. Ah, fuck. 
Do you think it's too late to grab one of those nuns? <laughs> oh, that's amazing. I love the fucking freeze frames in this movie. It's amazing. Oh, so good. Thank you. Mm. I mean, this entire society was designed by Renfields. For Renfields. So why should I have to adapt to it? You should have to adapt to me. God, Nicolas Cage is so fucking insane in this. I'm loving his performance. He can embrace his inner, just chaotic nature. My boss, he's pretty delusional, I think. Uh, he thinks he can take over the world. <laughs> He's a narcissist, Renfield. We all know exactly how you feel. Yes. <laughs> no, he's different. You can't get him out of your head. No. Oh, you feel like he could kill you with the snap of his fingers. Oh, he definitely fucking could. Wouldn't even need the snap. He'd just fucking, yeah, bang, and he'd be dead. That's the power of the cage. But if you were to stop focusing on his needs, what would happen? He would probably kill him. He, he'd probably kill him. He won't grow to full power. Exactly. He won't grow to full power. What? That's so weird. Why would you phrase it like that? That is actually a really weird way to fucking phrase it. But at the same time, Renfield would die. This is the person you are now. I guarantee you... Cage will still be in your head telling you to come see him and what to do. You're going to have PTS motherfucking D, mate. Mr. Renfield? Robert. Montague Renfield, yes. At your service. You look different. Oh. Good different. He, he, I really like your sweater. Oh, that's gross. You're both very fucking awkward. You um, always bring flowers to give he, a witness statement? Oh. Yeah, uh, we'll do it there for field. No, that wasn't the right step. Take her to dinner and then give a witness statement. Actually, no, the other way around. This is the same prick who took out everyone in the restaurant. Who does he work for? God, I love your fucking voice. Read me a bedtime story, please. His last known location is at the old charity hospital. You have until the end of the day to find him and kill him. Oh, give no. Me ten minutes. They're all gonna die. Dracula's gonna kill all of them. Yeah, you're gonna have a lot of fun. Yeah. Of course I had to go there. You're all fucking dead. You're not gonna live. He's gonna drink all your blood. He's gonna come back to full power. You're all fucked. Holy fucking shit. Ronnie, call my mom! Come on, <laughs> Ronnie, call my mom! Yeah, you think you're bad, Ben? Wait until you meet Dracula and Renfield. Whoa! Holy shit! Hello? Oh! I am Count Dracula. You win. <laughs> you win. Yeah, it was that fucking simple. Maybe you'd like to get a bite to eat. Hello, Renfield. Oh, shit. I like what you've done with the room, by the way, Renfield. It looks very pretty. No. 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 <laughs> not a no. No, not no. Uh. <laughs> I love Katie. He's just... No, no, no. Oh, no. The, the plan is to rent a U-Haul, and that <laughs> way I'll be able to get all the bodies. <laughs> you know what? It's so silly, but you don't have to worry. Um... And I, I won't bother you with my, my problems. No, no. Please. Tell me all about your problems. Oh, I love Cage so much. He is embracing this role so much and I love it. He's so good. I don't think I was eager. I think that you caught me at a low moment and you maybe manipulated me. Do you no, 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 Back in the box. However, I'm the real victim here. I'm the one you swore to protect. Oh my god, I love you, Cage. Please be my dad. That's enough. What? <laughs> oh boy. Oh fucking boy. What made him think that would work? <laughs> With these ideas in your head. Oh no, it's a church. It's a church. Yeah, that's gonna piss him off. He's gonna go hurt some people. Well, Renfield, you do sort of have yourself to blame for this one. I've realized that I can identify healthy love. I just don't think I deserve it. Um, and that's partially the shame talking. Also the rash. Oh, Renfield? here he comes, here he get comes, here he comes. fucking share, please. Is, uh, is everyone okay? That's what you want to call it? We're all fine, what's going on? What's going on? Uh, we need to leave. Dracula is coming and he's gonna drink all your blood. Blah, blah, blah. Renfield, just take a deep breath. 
We are all fine. You're not going to be fine. Fucking listen to Renfield, although it sounds insane. Are you here for the meeting? Well, come on. No, man. no, no. Uh oh, he welcomed him in. Here comes Dracula. He's gonna drink your blood. But I think we're about to see some Nick Cage insanity, and I'm excited. To most, I am known simply as. Redfield's boss! Whoa! Oh, that made him mad. That made him mad. Don't interrupt Dracula. You finally brought me what I've been asking for. Oh no, they're all fucking dead. They're all fucking dead. Jesus Christ, oh. that. Oh! Fucking hell! Well, that's not good. Well, Redfield's gonna go. No, he's massacring all of them! These are good people! They did nothing wrong! They've just been hurting! There is so much violence in this and I love it, but I feel so bad for all these unfortunate souls. Holy shit. Hands in the air! Fuck, that's not good. I destroyed That's not good. Everything. I don't think Aquafina's gonna really believe you on this one because you literally are the only one there and your handprints will be all over the scene and yeah. Oh, come on, really? Come on, really? Why? Why? No! Oh, fucking course. Can these Lobos just fuck off? Yeah, I was gonna say, there's, there's something more to this. She definitely is playing them. Oh no, she got shot! Why? I like her! Why did she have to get shot? Fuck you guys! How are you feeling? Hope you're hungry. Oh, we got out of the cuffs. I was gonna say, is he casually like making fucking breakfast with cuffs on? It's not an abduction. In fact, uh, you know, very much still in your custody. Oh! He's an honest man. He's an honest man. Much appreciation to you there, Renfield. You are a very honest man. Oh, that's not fucking good. Really? Just as they're about to go to go to Cafe Du Monde, I think he needs to eat one of his bugs so they can get out of there. You're a bad man, Mr. Renfield! Yeah, well... Sometimes that comes in handy. Let's go, let's go, let's go! Yes! Fuck yeah! Yeah, nice. What? He's still standing? Fuck yes! Wacky wire work, let's keep going. I'm all for the cheesy corniness. Oh! Holy shit! What the fuck? Beat him with an arm! Yes! Yes, he beat him with an arm! Fuck yeah! I've always wanted to fucking see something wacky as that, and we're getting to see him beat people to death with fucking limbs! Amazing! Oh, I fucking love it. I'm probably disturbing my neighbors so much right now, but this is fucking amazing. Juggling them with fucking arms! Holy shit! Oh! What the fuck? Cut off the legs! Oh! Insanity, and I fucking love it! <laughs> Bro! Amazing. I fucking love this movie. This movie is insane and I fucking love it. It's fucking incredible. Every single second of it. I am having the time of my fucking life. Hello, Rebecca. Looking for someone? Oh, fuck. Of course. The sister's been kidnapped now. Rebecca and Renfield are gonna have to take down the Lobos and Dracula together. You've got your sister. She doesn't have much time. Yeah, that, that'd be motivation enough. Let's fucking go, Rebecca. Let's fucking do it. Must be nice. Not needing to be invited in. Wait a second. Wait a second, don't I know you? Because you look so... <laughs> oh. Familiar. Oh, that's disgusting. Yuck, he snorted a fucking centipede? Really? Oh, they- Oh, they've all got the fucking power with the bugs. Oh, this is gonna be a toughie. Whoa! 
Ow, ow, ow. Okay, but I will say this. They're infinitely less powerful than fucking Renfield. <laughs> Head stomp. Bush. Like a watermelon. Think I need guns to fuck you up? Let's do this. Uh, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you think I need guns to fuck you up? Oh shit. I'm clearly the yin to your yang. We've barely met twice. You patronize, you piece of shit. We've barely met twice. Then it, oh shit, Jesus Christ. I don't know what the point of that was, but it was cool. Can you save her? Yes. No! Oh shit! He got fucking launched. Renfield's having a really tough time right now. I think he needs another bug, and that will give him the power he needs. I'm a full hus, full of everything you're not. Strength, power, loyalty. Here we go. Oh! Oh! Fatality, bro. That was a Mortal Kombat X-ray right there. Fuck, that looked cool. Cheesy, sure, but. Fucking cool. Oh no, that's not good. That's not good. Don't hurt her. Don't you dare fucking hurt her. Yes. Oh fuck you, Dracula. Where is she? Oh, it's pitch black. It's pitch black. That's not good. She's gonna have a tough fucking time. Also, strobe light warning, everyone. Apparently, because holy fuck, it's flashing a lot. I can see what Renfield saw. Come on, get a shot off! No! Uh-oh, uh-oh! Use the stake! Use the stake you've still got in your pocket! Oh, yes! Right through the foot! Congratulations! You shot my foot! <laughs> Your foot still bleeds. Oh, true! That's so fucking smart! Good job, Rebecca! Oh, he just ripped off fucking Dracula's fangs! Oh, oh! Let's go, Renfield! I'm Montague! Renfield. Renfield! And I'm a codependent. Okay, what, uh, what? Oh no, he's giving a really big speech, isn't he? Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Not good! Ah, uh, protective circle! Did- wait, did she use cocaine for a protective fucking circle? That's inventive. Oh. And, and that? Cocaine. Yeah, that, that confirms it. What do we do now? <laughs> We're gonna give him a beating and have some fun! Use him as a fucking... Immortal pinata? Oh my fucking god, really? To our defense, there is so much folklore out there about how to actually kill a vampire, it gets confusing. You know, I've personally seen him come back from some crazy shit, so why not try everything? <laughs> yeah, that's very true. That's very fucking true. I was lost in a world of darkness for a very long time. But, with all of your help, I, um, I found a way out. Without you... I would never have learned that. Wait. Oh, he used the blood that was in the jug just then to bring them all back. Good on him. I was about to say, what the fuck did he do? How did that fucking work? But that's cool. That's actually a really cool thing because, like, these people are his family, essentially. You might also say I chopped my demons up into tiny little pieces, mm. encased them in concrete, and flushed them down the drain. Yeah. And if I can find the power to do that, then maybe everyone can. <laughs> Metaphorically speaking. Yes, I, I thank you so much for the, you know, specification of that because I, I was a little confused there, mate. Jesus Christ. Alright. Well, that was Renfield. Is there a mid credit scene at all? Doesn't seem like it. No. Okay. Well, that was Renfield. It was fucking awesome. I had a blast with that. That was so much fucking fun. I... The thing is, is like, when I watch movies, I will judge movies a little hard sometimes. I will look into them a little bit too much. But that's if it's a movie that is trying to be too serious, 
or if it's a movie that doesn't understand its full potential. Take Fast and Furious 10, for example. That was a movie that was incredibly dumb, incredibly stupid, but was so self-serious rather than self-aware that it sort of lost itself in the mix and therefore was a very unenjoyable experience, aside from when it does play into the self-aware tone. But it needed to do that the entire time, and it would have been a much more enjoyable experience. Renfield, on the other hand, has everything. Over-the-top gore, over-the-top action, silly over-the-top performances. Nicolas Cage has his own little fucking tear right there. A script that isn't necessarily terrible, but is incredibly cheesy, corny, and doesn't try to be anything more than what it should be. This is a bizarre concept. This is a bizarre story. And I loved every second of it because it knew exactly what it was and never tried to be anything more than that, rightfully so. Sometimes it is all right for a movie to be more than it should be. Sometimes that really fucking works. Like, prove me wrong, that has happened before and I'm all for it. But with a movie like Renfield, even if it plays itself safe and only does what it needs to do to be entertaining and doesn't try to be anything more and understands how self-aware it needs to be to be like that, I'm okay with it and I had a fucking blast because of it. Renfield is one of the most enjoyable movies I have seen all year. The fact that this only has like a 57% of Rotten Tomatoes is baffling to me. Like, I think it should be higher. Like, I understand how Rotten Tomatoes works, as the percentage of critics that gave it a positive review and everything, but I don't understand how one couldn't enjoy this. It's never boring, it's always funny, it's always enjoyable to look at. Like, the cinematography at times is actually quite cool. The action scenes, even though it's very shaky cam, are very well put together to the point that the shaky cam and the editing isn't actually a problem this time. It has a ton of fucking gore, which yes is CG heavy, but doesn't look so cartoony that it's unbelievable, aside from the extremity of the violence, of course. It's just a fun movie, and Nicolas Cage, when he's on screen, because he's not in it much, but I'm fine with that because Nicolas Cage is best in small doses in a movie like Renfield because it means his presence in his insanity is all the more enjoyed in that moment as opposed to a full 90 minute runtime. And I'm okay with that. Nicholas Holt, Aquafina really worked well together. They bounced off of each other pretty well for the most part as well. And I had a blast with it. But guys, what do you think of Renfield? I want to see what all of you have to say down in the comment section below. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Or are you somewhere around the middle? Please comment down below. Let me know. Look out for more movie reviews, movie analysis. I'm going to do my How to Beat Saw 2 Flesh and Blood video. And look out for more movie reactions and other types of content coming very, very soon. My name is Patrick Burrow, and I'll see you all in the next video. Take care.